All right, so now we're going to get into one of the most powerful things in programming in general, loopage. And we're starting off with for loops. In Python, there are, let's say there are these four basic patterns of for loops. And we're going to start off with this first pattern, or really these first two patterns, because they help us to accomplish certain numeric problems, right? And they all, uh, this first one especially, if you have like basic number theory problems, it's easy. You can just throw this kind of for loop at it and we'll go through a problem like that. And then the second example is using an index approach to traversing a list. So we'll do both of those in this lesson and we'll set aside these other two, which are really just about element traversal. We'll set aside these other two for another lesson. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to copy this little snippet of code and modify it a little bit. So for i in range from some low value, let's say from 0, to a high value of, let's say, 30, we're going to, well, yeah, why don't we just print i? Let's take a look at what that is. I don't think it's going to be too surprising what we get out of that. We get the output from 0 through 29. Notice this is not inclusive. Okay, this is not inclusive of 30. And a little bit of syntactic sugar here, you don't need to include the low value. You can just start, you can just put in 30, and it's going to go from 0 through 29. Now, if you want to go from 15 to 30, obviously you have to put that in explicitly. So that's the basic structure of a for loop. Now, let's think about what we can do with this. Well, we can make a sum. Let's... Um, we could do this with the sum function, but let's go ahead and do this. Let's sum all the values between 0 and 29 using a for loop. And it just looks like this. And if we print this out, if we print this out, 435. Great. Well, we could have just done this. We could have just done the sum of the range from 0 to 30 and printed that. And this single line of code on 16 is better for, that it's more Pythonic and it's more optimal than what we're doing between lines 9 and 11. But we're going to get the same answer. So, you know, we would prefer to use line 16, but it's important to know what's, uh, how you can do this with just for loops. So 435, 435, no surprise. But what if we wanted to sum the range in increments of 3? Well, let's take a look. 135, okay. And let's take a look at what is actually inside there. So these nums, for every i, we're going to append that value. We're going to append i. And then in addition to printing the nums, we're going to print, sorry, in, in addition to printing the sum, we're going to print the nums. And let's just take a look at what that is. So 0, 3, 6, 9, up to 27. All of those add together equal 35. Awesome. Um, we could make this look a little bit nicer if we want in another for loop. And we could say, all right, well, let's, and we'll use this to demonstrate this second uh, version of the for loop. So we've created this. Um, let's go for i in range, and we'll do the length of nums, okay? And, you know, nums is going to be uh, of a given length, and one less than that is going to be the highest index. So we can use that, that idea to access nums. And let's do, let's just print nums sub i. Uh, I'm going to make an f string here just because uh, it's nice. And we'll... We'll do this. And is that? So 
this is going to sort of work, and, and we'll see. So we're going to print that, and then we're going to print, I'm just going to do another F string here. I know you haven't seen this yet, but don't worry, you will see it quite a bit. And this is going to equal sum. So this is just going to give us some nice, friendly output, I think, unless there's an error. Oh, let me comment out lines 8 and 9, so this looks a little nicer. Oh, didn't save it. Remember to always save. Now, this isn't exactly what I wanted, but 0 plus 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15 all the way down, that equals 135. Cool. So maybe I could make this a little bit nicer. I can make another accumulator called string. There's more than one way to do what I'm about to do, but I'm just going to do it like this. And instead of printing this out, I'm going to do uh, string. I'm going to continually append these values to string. And then I'm going to print out something here. I'm going to go string. And that's going to go all the way. Uh, I think that'll work. Maybe I'm missing something, but must be a string, not an int. Of course, that is what I'm missing. So I'm going to make that into a string. And let's find out. Oh, not quite. I also have to. No, this is funny. All right. There we go. So, yeah, 0 plus 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12, et cetera, equals 135. And uh, the only thing that I would say is not very pretty here is this last plus sign that doesn't attach to anything. I can do something about that. I can go through to negative 2. And that should correct that. Huh. Oh, whoops. Has to be a slice, which you haven't learned about yet. Don't worry, you will. All right. So 0 plus 3 plus 6 plus 9 plus 12, etc. And that gets us to 135. So notice here, you know, back to, back to the point here, for i in range, the length of a list that gives us the ability to access the values in a list. Now, there are other ways that we can do that. This gives us both the index, gives us a numeric value, right? Gives us the index, and it gets us the value that we can access. There's another way to do that. We can use enumerate, um, but both ways work. So, yeah, those are the numeric forms of the for loop using the range function.